Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it is three days in a row where we are back, back, back again to watch another Eberlyn Reed vlog. I don't know what's coming over her where she's posted every day, three days in a row. She said, I won't do a schedule, but I will post three days in a row. It's fascinating to me. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'm seated for the viewing and we're just going to check it out. We're going to watch it. I will say if she continues to post every day, like especially like over this weekend, as I've mentioned in many videos, I prefer not to do any YouTube related work on the weekend. And because of that, uh, I probably won't <laughs> react to anything. In fact, like we have a pretty full schedule of things to do this weekend. And so I just like can't imagine I'll, I'll come on this weekend and react to anything. So what I usually do or have done in the past is if she does post things over the weekend, if she hasn't, posted multiple things I'll just react to like one of them like if let's say she just posts on like Saturday or Sunday I'll just react to whatever that is on Monday but if she's posted something Saturday Sunday and Monday what I'll probably do is give maybe a recap of important things from Saturday and Sunday if there's anything important and then react to whatever she posts on Monday does that make sense just in case you're new here wanted to set up some expectations <laughs> for what uh, is to come on my channel and also she keeps posting every day. I don't know if it's realistic that I'll react every single day. We'll just see. We'll just see what I'm feeling and what the vibe is, but potentially won't. I do like to at least throw one or two videos in a week that aren't related to Amberlynn, and so we, we will see. We will see, okay? All right. Thanks so much for being here for this ride. I am, like you, shocked that she's posted three days in a row uh, with her non-schedule of everything. So let's just get to get to, shall we? The name of today's video is My New Lifestyle Eat With Me and tarot reading bar vlog, which is all fascinating to me because like based on the last video we just watched, <laughs> ain't nothing new about this lifestyle. Everything she's talked about doing is stuff that she's tried to do before. Uh, the eat with me is interesting because again, she said one of her triggers is people commenting on the things she was eating and she told us she was gonna stop sharing what she was eating and yet here we are. And then the third part of this title, the tarot reading, she all the time is on Instagram and other places saying she doesn't believe in tarot readings, she doesn't like them, they've never been correct for her. So this whole title is just an enigma wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a puzzle. I, I, don't, I don't understand any of it. Uh, but like I said, let's get to, let's get to, and let's see what's up. Good morning, hello, hi. Good morning, so, hi. hello, hi. Day two of no takeout. Work. Super happy about it. Proud um, of I you, give I guess. Day. Yesterday, calorie-wise, I had 1,600. Well, to be exact, I had 1,638. Wow. Which is so good. Um, I had 77 it's, ounces of water. I mean, I know a lot has changed since then, but I'm pretty sure that's like around the amount of calories that they said that she should have on little Octavia, 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 whoever, whatever. And she's like, that's too low for me. Um, I also just like still can't get over the fact that she had a whole ass dietitian to help her with stuff. And she's like, now I'm going to do this new, new thing on my own. I am very just proud of that. So today I'm going to take that and just like that. Drink your water. Again. Cheers, Cheers girly. Today. Drink my water. Yes. Hydrate. Exercises. Hydrate. Eat foodsies. And yeah, Eat I say foodsies, foodsies to the animals, so. Eat my foodsies. You say that to your animals? <laughs> so you're saying it to yourself now? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just said it to y'all. Um, oh, y'all, I'm what? like, so this whole missing submarine thing, uh, they uh, officially have no more oxygen. I see. I cannot talk about the submarine any more than we already have. I really can't. I really can't. I can't talk about this anymore. 
And honestly, anytime there's anything in the news, the last person I would ever want to hear their hot take from <laughs> is Amber Lynn Reed. It's Amber Lynn Reed. I don't need to know what your thoughts are. Also, this is out of date. The, the, you're already behind because things have already happened. They already determined that the submarine imploded. So, I, I don't want to talk about this with her. I don't want to talk about this with her. I've been following it since the minute I found out about it, which was like Sunday. Sunday. Like, they were like, do, 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 Sunday. Do y'all like that song? Going in there. So. <laughs> I just realized I gave you no context for what that song is. That's from Tick, Tick, Boom, but it's kind of sort of based on the the musical Sunday in the Park with George, like that particular song in Tick, Tick, Boom, the musical. <sighs> Anyways, I'm trying to, like, not think about the submarine stuff. Um, like going in the water, going in the ocean. And I was like, that is crazy. Why would anyone want to do that? And it's just, like, seeing all these, well, like memes and like people like be rude is just hard everyone's hobbies are different everyone's likes and dislikes are different what people find joy in it's all different like someone who goes up in a hot air balloon she, she's <sighs> amber lynn is missing the whole context the whole context for why people are critical of the choices made by the people that go down there i definitely want to be clear i understand that it's like tragic that people's lives were lost but like the criticism around it is that the people who could afford to go on this were like billionaires and people are critical of like how billionaires are choosing to use their money when like a lot of people who are following this or who are being force fed this like news story are not billionaires and can't relate to being able to spend that like they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to go down in this submersible, okay? Like, <laughs> see, this is why I didn't want to talk to Amber Lynn. I just knew she wouldn't get the context and the nuance of the conversation because for her, it's just like, oh, they were just having a fun hobby. It's like a fun hobby, like how I like scratch art, how I, how I like lottery tickets, how I like, I don't know, whatever, expert Lego. <laughs> just... Oh, bestie. I really want to have this conversation, though. I wouldn't. You wouldn't catch me doing that, but that is a dangerous activity. And the same of, like, going in a submarine is a dangerous activity. But that's something that these five people wanted to do. That's she something that... She's also missing the context that people are also like, why would you do this? Because there were so many warning signs that it wasn't going to go well. Like, so many things about the submersible were, like, huge, giant red flags. Like, she's, she's, <laughs> she's like, oh, people like to do dangerous things. People like to do dangerous things that are, like, like, feel dangerous but are, are safe and, like, you can do it. Like, a hot air balloon, like, yes, there are dangerous things that could happen from that. But, like, for the most part, a lot of people know the science around hot air balloons. Going on a roller coaster feels dangerous, but they've been manufactured to be safe and they go through tests and things like that. There were, like, several glaring red flags about why this submersible was not safe. <laughs> several. You're missing all the context, Amber Lynn. Oh. I don't want to talk about this with her, and here we are brought joy to them and i don't think that we should judge she's for that. she's so goofy should we judge for anything that they decided to do no <laughs> obviously there are clips of like the ceo and the person who made the submarine um talking a little bit about like not everything about the submarine is perfect so then it just makes you wonder like Okay, then why'd you do it? So, obviously, what? like... Uh, <laughs> okay, then you did it. That's why people are being critical. That's why, pe like, people are being critical because there were red flags. I know you miss red flags all the time in so many aspects of your life, bestie. But, <laughs> but Jesus. You can question those things, but, like, to make fun of these people who are more than likely, um, by the time that my this video goes up... More than likely have passed on and did suffer and were very scared. Um, that, like, breaks my heart. Because not only were these people who were just doing something that, like... Yeah. See, I'm separating the fact that they're billionaires. A lot of people, I feel like, might be bitter. 
Bitter? 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 Bestie, let me help you understand why the the people are critical of of billionaires. Because literally, billionaires have enough money that they can make, like, significant change in the lives of many, 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 many people. And instead, they chose to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on going on a questionable submersive to go down and look at the Titanic. And yeah, they can do whatever they want with their money, but that's, I'm just trying to help you explain or understand why people are critical of billionaires. So yeah, you can just separate the fact that they're billionaires if you want. Sure, great, but I think a lot of people have a lot of good reason to be critical of billionaires. I literally saw a tweet that was like, oh, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't be like laughing. And I'm not saying people should be laughing at all, just to be clear, but I'm just trying to help explain where people who are not billionaires are coming from in case you can't relate. But there was a tweet <laughs> that was like, you wouldn't be laughing if that was your family or if your family had chosen to go down and it's submersible. And literally somebody quote tweeted it was like, uh, my family would literally never because one, they couldn't afford it. And two, they have common sense. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, like it's hard to relate to a billionaire because most of us are not billionaires. And despite what Google says my net worth is, I'm not even a millionaire, okay? So, like, it's hard to relate to what a billionaire is out here doing. And she's just missing that context. So, yeah, if you want to completely separate the fact that they are billionaires, but that's, like, such an important part of the story. In the sense of, like, oh, my God, billionaires are so stupid. I think that there's just, like, a lot of, like, jealousy around the Je- that these people Jealousy? Jealousy? It's called classism. <laughs> called billionaires are like 0.1% I'm making up a statistic but a very small percentage of the US population of the world population <laughs> she is so goofy she's so goofy and I just like girl girl you're not a billionaire either why are you sticking up for billionaires <sighs> and it's like when you are a billionaire, when you are a millionaire, when you only make 3000 a month, it doesn't matter. You do what you want with your money. Sure. And I, stand she, by that, that de- I feel like she's coming from a place of defensiveness because people criticize her for spending her money on Torrid Halls, Timu, Expert Legos, whatever it might be. And, like, even that is wildly different than what we're talking about here, right? Like wildly different. <laughs> you are not a billionaire, Amberlynn. It's it's different. It doesn't mean that you deserve what these people are going through or what they have gone through because they could be gone by now. And I also, like, I also I, just gotta say, I didn't necessarily sign up <laughs> today to get a a teaching and like morality from Amberlynn Reed of all people, but here we fucking are. Oh, it's just so heartbreaking knowing that there was also a 19 year old in there who had his whole life sure. ahead of him. I will say, I saw some like reports that suggested that he didn't even really want to do it, but he was like doing it to like make his dad happy, make his dad proud or whatever. And so, like, I certainly empathize with that. And, again, I, I empathize with, like, the the concept that people lost their lives. Like, I, I don't know these people, but, like, yeah, I don't... Death isn't great. I don't love death. Truly, they died doing their hobby. They died doing something their, that their hobby. was joyous oh, for them. And it just, like, breaks my heart and puts life into perspective. We don't have to understand why they did it. It's not... <laughs> obviously, it's not something that majority of people would do but I feel the same about climbing Mount Everest (laughs) you know um people die doing that all the time people still do it and people do extreme things because some people are extreme people and I don't know it's just really hard to see like all these I can we can we fast forward through this part Amberlynn can we please like (laughs) I I certainly understand having empathy for the people's families and everything like that. Like, I'm not saying that, but, like, you just, like, writing off all of these other parts of the conversation is very frustrating to me. People making fun of them. Like, it has... 
I don't know, kind of tore me up just thinking about what these five individuals have gone through or what they are going through. It's just, I can't wrap my brain around it. It's hard. I've been following it. I've been, for the lack of a better word, just kind of obsessed with the whole thing, like constant, like looking up updates and stuff like that. And I don't know, my heart's just like... Girl, we have hurting. spent... We have spent a third of this video at this point talking about the submarine. Please move on. Please. And their families. Because it goes above just these five individuals. Like, these people had families, and their families are probably hurting, and their friends. Lecture just, Lynn, move it on. It just is really, really hard. So, oh. <laughs> I was like, what is this? But it's just an update, which I did mention this is already out of date. So this is the fasting app I use. It's called Zero. Okay. And oh my gosh, I still have an hour and 15 minutes of fasting. I am so hungry. I'm not going to lie. Ugh. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? This is my day one of fasting. Day two of a new lifestyle. I got this. I got this. I'm just watching the time countdown. Th so. This is not... <laughs> this is... You think this is great behavior, just sitting and waiting for time to count down so you can, can have your next meal? This is the new lifestyle you're trying to lead? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I would like some answers about what happened with the dietitian. Like, I, I think... I think after this, like... I mean, basically, we spent the whole year going down this weight loss surgery story arc with her i would like some answers about what's going on because i personally am so confused on how like the switch up happened and i just want to know i mean i think we all have speculation I, I you know i don't know if i'll even believe whatever story she has to say i want to believe but it's just like all of this is just so frustrating and how she like isn't saying anything i think leads to people starting to speculate and she should have just came out and said what happened from the get-go in my opinion because i've already seen just like wild speculation about all the different things that could have happened with her weight loss surgeon and then people saying that like weight loss surgery was never real to begin with and that she didn't do all of these things to begin with so i just lots of questions lots of questions do you guys want to sit here with me no. for an hour and 14 minutes i sure don't <laughs> Can you imagine? That's my vlog for today. Let's watch my app. This is annoying. <laughs> All right, you guys. I did it. I have five more minutes, so I am currently in the kitchen. And okay. I'm going to decide what I want to make for my first meal. See, the thing is, I'm not doing, like, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm just eating what I want. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Is that not what you do anyways? <laughs> You're trying to tell me you don't normally just eat what you want? What do I want? That's the real question. Uh-huh. Girly. <laughs> me literally just staring into the abyss. <laughs> so you guys can see what I see. Can you see I what I moment see? With some bacon, or do I want cottage cheese with like raw, raw veggies, veggies and chicken sausage? That is what I am trying to decide. The okay, so I have some chicken sausage cooking over here. Uh -huh. So right here is my little scale. I'm gonna turn it on. I have my bowl on top. I'm gonna have some cottage cheese. Work. And it is 113 grams is a serving for only 110 right. calories is this gonna be every meal we watch her eat now is the the sausage the veggies and the cottage cheese and I, I, if she hadn't posted today i really was prepared to go to the the grocery store and pick up um some raw veggies some chicken sausage some cottage cheese so i could do this for y'all and i mean maybe maybe it's a blessing to me that she did post today but here we are. Which is actually pretty good. And it's filling, so. So that's 113, literally, mm -hmm. on the dot. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, 113 grams. Yeah. And then I'm just going to add tons of raw vegetables as well. Work. And some mustard. Okay, so we have cottage cheese, there. mustard, oh. carrots, broccoli. That's an apple. That's an You added an apple. Broccoli, apple, asparagus, chicken sausage. And I'm able to say... 
and fast. Wow. Yay. There All you go. Happy. Wow. Save that and fast. I fasted for 16 hours and nine minutes. So I am about to eat. Way to go, girly. I really like, you know, doing these videos so I can be like a little bit accountable. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that is like directly in contradiction with what you just said in that video about your like triggers, which is that you don't like posting. It doesn't help you to post what you're eating because people are critical of it and it triggers you. That was literally just like two days ago. That <laughs> Am I wrong? Like that literally just happened two days ago. So this is half of an apple. I give the other half to Feline. I'm gonna try the apple with some cottage cheese. No, I am not going to put mustard on that. Why not? I say just go for it. I say just go for mm -hmm. it. Put some mustard on it, baby. I'm good. Now we're gonna do asparagus with this mustard is... and cottage cheese. This is all too much. I also <laughs> had this, um, so I had this yesterday for my first meal yeah. and my third meal. I'm just like, how many how many more times can I just watch her do all of this? How many more? I did not sign up for this. This is so good. So I haven't done it with broccoli yet, but I'm about let's to go. Again. How was it? I just oh, <laughs> it's genuinely so good. Her, she has convinced herself that she likes it because that was a much more enthusiastic so good than the very first time we watched her eating these raw veggies with the mustard. Because now she's like, oh my god, that's genuinely so good. And to begin with, she's like, mm, I don't, mm, uh, yeah, I like it. And it, like, you know, if you've been watching, you can tell there's a difference there. But this is, like, this this content will get very old very quickly if this is, we just sit here and watch her eat cottage cheese with raw veggies. Satisfying. Get in there, girly. Now we're gonna do chicken sausage. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Carrot. Yummy. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is wild. I'm gonna watch H3 and continue my food. This content. Also, is anybody else mildly irritated? I know this is a nitpick, like cut your apples however you want, but with how her apples are cut, are you, <laughs> like, why is it? I feel like you wasted a whole bunch of the apple. Doesn't it feel that way, kind of? This is too much. Are, we're, I just have to sit here and watch you eat this raw veg? This is what we're doing? What, what is this montage? What is this? So what? it's time for my purging session of the day. And I know some of you like these segments, so I'm going to keep them in. But I'm going to try to keep them short. So... This is, this is going to be every vlog. Every vlog is going to be... Her eating raw veggies with cottage cheese, her doing a cleaning out of her closet, and probably what? A, a PO unboxing? <laughs> That's gonna be every video. <sighs> Maybe with some like current events sprinkled in, apparently, since that's what we spent the first third of this video talking about today. So yesterday I said this was part of the maybe pile and I think I have officially decided to get rid of it. Good! This hoodie where I have a matching pair of pants uh -huh. was also part of the maybe pile, pile and I've decided to keep it. So okay. the reason why I'm just like taking random ones down at a time yeah. is because I think I want to rearrange my closet, um, hang my clothes differently and stuff. So I'm kind of slowly transferring everything to this side. You, listen, I understand that people do have these like epiphanies that like the way that their storage or their closet or various things around their house are organized is not working for them yet. But how many times have we watched her reorganize things, re 
replace things, redo things when it comes to every single thing on her channel, whether it's her closet, how she stores her books on the bookshelf, how she organizes her makeup, her jewelry. We've watched her do it all so many times. <sighs> like, I wish I had, well, I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't, this is not my forte in real life. Like, my forte is not going and rearranging all my, my stuff. Like, I know where things are and I don't like to switch things around. But sometimes it would be nice if I would have had more time to just, like, spend all my days reorganizing stuff. Because as you can see here, I'm hanging the ones that I'm keeping on this side. So here we have a mauve. A mauve. A mauve. Because it's super cozy. A lot of y'all also agreed that the way she said mauve is so fun. A lot of people also commented on how she said the word food, but I didn't, I haven't noticed. Outside of today when she said foodsies. There is a beautiful emerald green lace dress and it's super extra, super expensive. I have never worn it, but I want to wear it for like a special occasion. Of course you and have it. It's a little tight, so I want to lose some weight before I wear it, so I am going to keep it. Now, what kind of special occasion are you going to? Where are you wearing a dress like that? Like, where do you envision yourself wearing that dress to? That's what I think every time you hold up like a fancy looking dress or a fancier looking dress, I should say. I just, like, I don't, where, where is Amberlynn Reed wearing this to? This is, oh, okay. This is a burgundy velvet shirt that I absolutely love, so I'm keeping. So this is just, like, an outer dress part that I, <laughs> the way I describe things. The inside of it, I took out, is what I'm trying to say. It was, okay. like, a two-layer dress, and I just kept this part. But I don't know if I want to keep it. I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's just okay. too AC, too old grandma for me. Some lace <laughs> is good lace. Too, too old grandma for you? Have you looked at, like, a good chunk of your wardrobe, bestie? <laughs> Other lace, I think that a 90-year-old woman would wear it. So here is a t-shirt. It has some sequins. Yeah, some that's tacky. Some leopard cheetah print. Um, I do like this. There is a couple sequin things it's, that I will be keeping. It's giving it's giving plus size Snooky. <laughs> I'm not just saying. I'm not the biggest fan of sequin, but sometimes it's worth it if something is super cute. And I'll show an example of that but, right now. This guy right uh, here. Uh huh. It is so annoying on my hair, but I love this shirt so freaking much. Okay. It's nothing but sequins, and I'm Work. keeping it. Keep okay, it. Guys, I need a little quote. We need some affirmations today. Let's go. Um, so I'm going to pull out of here. Before I do, I'm actually thinking about getting some tarot cards. No, I have gone back and forth. Not this. If I believe in them or not. No, <laughs> no, not this. You don't. You've always been so adamant that you don't believe in tarot cards. She must be watching the old Life Plus Cindy uh, frequently because Cindy girl is very into tarot if you don't know that about her. And that 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 would just that's the only reason I could imagine that she's all of a sudden into tarot because she has been so adamant about it. Even like as early as uh, if you go on my channel, I reacted to a tarot card reader on YouTube named Aphrodite, and he does a lot of like tarot for all kinds of things. But he had done a tarot card reading of Amber Lynn. Uh, because, like, his audience asked him to do it, and I reacted to his tarot card reading, and so you can go watch that, but at the time, I remember, she's like, I don't believe in tarot card readings, like, this isn't, this isn't real life, and, like, she said that time and time again. I realized that, like, I believe the universe will tell you things if it's coming from, like, a good place and the right type of energy. If it's coming from, like, a biased person, aka, like, I don't want to, like, bring up reaction channels or anything, but there is a reaction channel who has done tarot reading on me in the past. Ah! Like, this was, like, a year ago, and it was just so wrong. And what? so from like a biased angle. Wait, is she is she talking about Aphrodite? Because one, he's not a reaction channel. Did did one of the reaction channels do a tarot card reading on her? I mean, I guess maybe Kiki and Geese used to do them. I think she did use to, maybe that's what she's talking about. This this is so funny to me. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so funny to me that like 
she's like, well, I only like it if it's gonna say good things about me. That's not how tarot is supposed to work, though. That's not how tarot cards work. That I just like was like, is tarot not even real? But when I've done it with friends in the past, or like I had a professional tarot reading done when I was like 19. When I've done it from like that type of energy, or I've used tarot cards on myself, like, it all makes sense. No, 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 no. I, listen, I for sure probably do not have this Instagram story saved anywhere. I might have to go look and see if somebody from, like, my Twitch community has a copy of it. But she has said time and time again, specifically, that they've never been correct for her. They've never been right. Um, I do not believe in tarot cards because they've always been wrong. Yes, they are. They've always been wrong. So don't come at me now saying like, oh, they might, like, when I did it for myself, when I had a professional do it, get the fuck out of here, girl. <laughs> like, why does she just, I don't even know. I think that's lying, right? I was going to say, I don't know if I'd call that lying or just like rewriting history. <laughs> it's lying. Why are you going to lie? Um, so I do believe in tarot when it comes from the right type. You're, you are such a lie. Not when it comes from the wrong type. <laughs> so I am thinking about getting it. She's so annoying. I have it in my Amazon cart. It's a super cute deck. We'll see. But she, I do want to pull out of here. She's so irritating. Um, what do I want it to be about? Honestly, I'm thinking very much like weight loss, weight loss surgery, um, the decisions that I'm making for my future, so we'll see. Okay. Um, babe, what color? Come from a come from a good spot. Do I pick white, green, orange, Girl, yellow? don't all of these things all say good stuff? Like, isn't the point of this little jar of notes like that it's all like positive affirmations? It's all gonna come from a good place. Or blue. White. white? All right, I'll do this one right here. And it's weird because I was, as soon as you said white, I was literally looking at this one and it's white. <gasps> Shut up! Stay positive, work hard, and make it happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is exactly what I needed to hear. <coughs> It's like that's that's what you've needed to hear for a long time, bestie. And <laughs> I think people have probably told you something along those lines before, and, and and it didn't it didn't make a difference. I guess it makes a difference when it's, it comes in a little slip of paper in a cute tiny little jar. So obvious, but like the universe speaks to you. I promise. Like I'm agnostic. I am an agnostic girly, um, but I believe in the energy of the universe. I don't know how to explain it. I don't like getting into it. Everyone has different beliefs, but thank you, universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the tarot deck uh, on the Amazon that I'm thinking about getting, and it is for beginners, uh -huh. which I love, and I think the art is beautiful. It's not, like, confusing or anything. Like, it literally says um, Key of Wands, and you can, like, look up in the little booklet, like, what it means. There's also a version you can get, which I want this version. Um, I probably should get this one if we're being honest, since I am a beginner. But either way, it's beginner either way. So, what? this is the keyword. What? Of it. Does she even know what word she's saying? Like, does she even understand what, <laughs> what she's looking at? She's just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not ready for tarot card lead. I'm not ready for tarot card lead. Actually, honestly, truly, I don't watch a lot of reaction channels, but I might go check out old Justine from Kicking Geese and what her thoughts are about the tarot card stuff because I do know that Justine... I'm, I'm wondering if that's the, the person that Amberlynn was talking about earlier. I would say it has to be Justine or, or Amphrodite. Either way... I know Justine cares a lot about tarot and takes it very seriously, and I'm so curious what her thoughts are about this TBH. Edition ...where it says, like, the key words for what King of Wands would say. Oh, I see. Or you can get the full resolution, which doesn't show all the key words. Sure, sure, sure. But like I said, it comes with a booklet, so it'll tell you... You know what Girl, each thing means. Yeah, I would say true. save your money though, because you know you're gonna pull them out once and then you're never gonna look at them again. Save your money. Save your money. 
the booklet. There's a 200 page pocket guide. Wait, 200 pages? Wow. Okay, so this is like amazing. Um, it comes with 78 cards. <laughs> and I just think they're so pretty. They're super cute. Uh -huh. And yeah, so this is the deck I'm thinking about getting. It is the Whispell Feminine Tarot Card Deck. So if you are interested, it is on Amazon. Um, it's only $20, which is not bad at all. I've also like read, and also like I have friends who do tarot, um, <laughs> that like you can't do tarot readings on people who like didn't approve of it. Oh um, my God. I have heard that that is a thing. Like. <laughs> The person has to approve of it. So the, when I, this is like revisionist history. The revisionist history of <laughs> of her thoughts and feelings about tarot is sending me. It's absolutely sending me. I was editing this last night. This is from my uh, vlog. This is me using my camera, which uh -huh. I'm using right now. It's um, the camera that most vloggers use. And then here is me filming from my phone. And this is me too pale. This is not what I look like in real life. This also, I realized, <laughs> is not the true color either. Because as you can see here, my living room walls look yellow. Uh -huh. And I don't have yellow walls. They're like very, very, like... Girl, if you've been on YouTube this long and you don't understand how fucking lighting works, I don't know what to tell ya. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Either way, outside of the lighting, y'all know she looks the same as she always does. Light gray, like slash white. Like it's hard to explain. Um, even here, this looks too dark. So it's like, I can't get the right color, whether it be on my phone, whether it be on the camera. Also- I can't figure out light. Also, I have to say like, I don't know that the lighting even really matters that much. Like I think either or is fine. <laughs> Either or it's fine. The only reason anybody even probably notices is because you make such a big deal about it and point it out in every single video. I've tried to change the light bulbs in my house and it's like not working. So neither of these colors is the real Amberlynn. So what do I really look like? You'll never know. No. <laughs> so stupid. That was... <laughs> What a, what a ride. What a fucking ride. Honestly, I I don't even know how I feel about that after it's all said and done. I'm not sure. <laughs> I could have done without the first third of the video being about the submarine, though, to be honest. I'm like... I'm like exhausted from the discourse. There's so much nuance and complexities to talk about when it comes to those things. And of course she wanted to strip out all of the, the nuance, all of the complexities. And you know, what, I don't know why I'm acting surprised from Amberlynn Reed, but uh, here we are. <laughs> here we are, besties. Here we are. That's all I have time for today. Uh, I hope that you all enjoyed today's video and I hope you all have a great weekend. It's the last full weekend of Pride Month, so go live your best gay lives and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but otherwise, if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Uh, also, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media, including checking out my merch and my merch shop down below in the description box. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!